Want to know some flashy combos like this one? Well keep watching because we're about to break down the flash in Injustice 2. As always we'll be using this button guide so keep that in mind. Ok ready? 3, 2, 1, let's jam! Let's start off with the Flash's special moves. Quantum tunneling allows Flash to become projectile and strike invulnerable for a brief period of time. Note that it is not invulnerable to throws and it does have a 9 frame startup. So it's not ideal against fast projectiles. You can enhance it to emit an explosion of energy to knock enemies away, but this too has a startup and you're not invulnerable during it. Fists of Fury is a great combo ender that is fast, does decent damage, and just looks freaking awesome. Lightning Kick is Flash's most important combo starting special move, as when enhanced, it pops the opponent up for a combo. It can be tough to find the right timing to enhance the move, but you have to press the right trigger basically right in the middle of the move. Make sure to practice this a lot because you won't be able to play a solid Flash if you cannot do this reliably. Lightning Punches is a mid-range dash attack that can be used to whiff punish from a distance, and then enhanced to follow up with a big combo. On Your Mark puts you into a 3 point stance that can lead into a number of different options. Pressing forward will send Flash dashing forward at a great speed, and from there you can press 2 for an overhead jumping attack, 3 for a low hitting sliding attack, or 1 for an extremely fast mid attack. You can also cancel the stance or the run by pressing back twice. Sonic Lift is a close range special move that can be used as an anti-air with a high damage follow up, but with a 15 frame startup you're generally better off just using down 2 as a reliable anti-air. Sonic Pound is an overhead special move that can be a great option to use to surprise enemies either on wake up or to jump over low projectiles. It can also be enhanced for follow up combos as well. We also need to go over Flash's character trait because it's a core part of his character. By pressing the trait button, Flash will slow down time, allowing him to connect combos that would otherwise be impossible. The key to using this trait in combos is to press the button immediately after inputting the prior command. You gotta be real quick otherwise the trait won't pop. Flash's trait is essential to his big damage so try not to use it unless you have a way to make it count. With that said, now let's move on to some useful basic combos. Grease Lightning is an extremely fast combo with the first hit having just a 3 frame startup, but be aware that its range is abysmal, and the first two hits are high, meaning they can be ducked. Natural Disaster is a great low hitting mix up option that can sweep the opponent if you input the full combo. Forced Acceleration is an extremely important combo as it has an overhead starter and will lead to some big damage if it hits. Problem is, it has a slow 17 frame startup, so be careful just throwing it out there because it will get interrupted. Roller Coaster is a great combo because it has great range, moves Flash forward, ends with a knockdown, and allows Flash to continue pressure. Finally, Bolt of Lightning is another great far reaching and forward moving combo that can be especially good for juggling enemies. Speaking of juggling enemies, it's now time to put everything we've learned together for some advanced combos. Lightning Punches, Enhance, Trait, Back 3, Jump 3, Jump 3, 3-2, three, 3-2, two, three, two, Fists of Fury. This will be your long distance whiff punish combo. Used against blocked long range attacks like a slow projectile, or a sweep, or something that's punishable but not in the range of any of Flash's normal attacks. Forward 2, 1, Lightning Kick, Enhance, Trait, Lightning Kick. Forward 2, Lightning Kick. Forward 2, Lightning Kick. Forward 2, 1, Fists of Fury. This is Flash's bread and butter combo that takes up one bar of meter and Flash's trait. Notice that I have to take a few steps forward after the second Lightning Kick in order to be in range for the forward 2. Flash's combos are all about placement and timing so keep that in mind. Forward 2, 1, Lightning Kick. Enhance. Back 2, 2, forward 3, Fists of Fury. Flash won't always have his trade available so it's important to know at least one solid combo that doesn't rely on slowing down time, and this combo fills that role nicely. Forward 2, 1, forward forward right trigger, trait, 3, lightning kick, lightning kick, 3, lightning kick, 3, lightning kick, 2, Fists of Fury. This combo utilizes what's known as a bounce cancel which takes up 2 bars of meter so it's a pricey and situational combo but as you can see it's extremely damaging. 
Note that unlike other combos where you just press trait as part of the combo string, for this you have to delay pressing trait until after the bounce cancel. You can combo into Flash's super from mostly any of his basic strings, but Flash is so mirror dependent, there are very few situations where it makes sense to use all four bars for a super out of a combo, unless it will finish the round for sure. That being said, if you're sitting on a full meter and the opponent is just about dead, Flash's x-ray can go across the full screen almost instantaneously, making it a deadly punish for just about anything the opponent tries to do. Flash's advantages and disadvantages are obvious. He's fast as hell, does great damage, has solid mix-up potential, but he gets outranged by most characters in Injustice, his combos are not the easiest to pull off, and if a character is good at keeping him out, he can have a hard time getting in. That being said, he's a super fun rushdown character with some of the coolest looking moves in the game, and bar none, the best character select animation. Want more Injustice 2? Got any suggestions for other characters you want to see guys for? Keep it locked right here on IGN's YouTube page for more. Thanks for watching. I've been Mitchell Saltzman. You can find me on Twitter at JurassicRabbit, and we'll see you next time.